Do you love Bonanza? I love Bonanza. <laughs> Thought you might be better fixed for water than us, Jason. We were going to ask if we could water our stock. We won't. Yeah, I can spare a little. Enough to take you a couple of days. How far are you going? Up to the high country. What about your land? And all the years you've put into it. You're just going to go away and leave it? It's dying. Dead. Either we move or we die too. It won't be long before the others will follow us. They turned us back. They had guns. You knew that happened, didn't you? I was afraid it would, but I thought they might get through. Called themselves vigilantes. And they were guarding the roads that led to green grass and water. We were desperate enough to fight. But two men can't stand against 20 guns. Did you try and talk to them? We talked. We pleaded with them and we begged. I saw my man drop down on his knees. And he ain't ever done that before. Except to the Lord. Where are your cattle? Why bring them back to die? We turned them loose. At least up there, the cows will live. And we're going to live, too. We're going to gather every able man in the low country. Twenty, fifty. I don't know how many, but they'll fight. Any man will fight before he lets his women and his children die. Don't do it, mister. I'll meet you of three to one. Then we'll kill three to our one. You're Mr. Cartwright? Yes, I am. We told your neighbors we'd be coming back. We're going through this time. Going through to green grass and water. What is your name, sir? Bill Collins. Oh, Mr. Collins, don't try it. You won't get through. They must have about 50 men guarding that road. And if you do try to get through, the, well, some of you are bound to get killed. Maybe, but we'll do some killing, too. Mr. Collins, it won't work. Me and Little Joe saw them. They got the woods full of men, behind every bush and rock. They got you outnumbered two to one. There are more coming, and we'll get through. The Lord didn't mean for some to have water and others to have none. And that's true enough. He, he didn't mean that. And I'll tell you, there is water, and there's green grass enough for all of you, and it's yours, on one condition. We thank you, but uh, what do you mean by a condition? It's yours if you let me lead you to the high country. Now, it'll be a long, hard ride over some pretty rough trails, but there won't be any men to stop you. What happens if they try to drive us off once we get there? Well, you'll have my boys and myself fighting on your side. We're very grateful to you, Mr. Cartwright, but we don't want to cause trouble for you and your boys. Well, don't let that worry you, none. Wonderful! Did I hear you say there's water? Water for everybody? That's just what you did here, Mr. Collins. And you were right. The Lord did not mean for some to have water and others to have none. You hear that, man? 